Hi guys, welcome back. So I am officially 37 weeks pregnant. So I have officially made it to nine months pregnant. So um, some of the garden has been neglected. I just have to pick and choose what I wanna handle. <laughs> There's my baby girl. Um, but today I thought I would harvest my buttercup squash and I thought I would just walk you through it and um, how I do it. Now, a lot of people here just let theirs go until they get their first light frost and then the leaves kind of die back and that's when they go in and harvest. Um, but just a baby approaching and stuff like that, I just kind of wanted to get a head start and it is ready. Also, another reason is I live in a zone three and the fact that it is October 11th today is so weird because normally we have our first frost at the end of August or early September and we're in October and haven't had a frost yet. So it's insane. I'm worried we're not gonna get a light frost. I'm worried it's just gonna take us out and just demolish just a super hard freeze. Um, so that's kind of why I'm getting a jump start as well. So let me walk you through. I'll show you how you can kind of tell when your squash is ready to harvest and all that stuff. So let's go. Okay, this is my squash plant. It stretches way over there, all the way along the fence, up the fence, on the outside of the fence, it went through, and all the way over here. And if you look in, see if I can show you well. I have one there, there, and I have several others as well tucked way back in the leaves. But what you're looking for, this is a kind of a good example right here. When the stem starts to get like that kind of woody appearance or um, not green, as green, it's kind of turning that brown color. That's a good sign. And then also if you go to the rind back here, it feels really hard and I try to dig my nail into it and no matter how hard I push, I cannot get my nail into it. And that means it's ready. So another good example, you can't see the stem, but if I just try to dig my nail into it, it's not going in and I'm not leaving it indentation. And that means that one's ready too. If I come over here to one that isn't ready, you can see the stem is still green. These are all super green right here. And then they're very soft, like I can easily make an indent with my nails. So that's how you tell if they're ready or not. So I'm just gonna go through, see what I can find, see what's ready. So I'm just going to see what I can get. This is so exciting. Catch it. Oh, is it cool? Is it like a green pumpkin? Yeah. We're gonna eat this for dinner. Yeah. It's dirty. It's dirty? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll clean it. Okay, go put it in the cart. Oh, oh, me. oh is it heavy? Uh -huh. Okay. Got it? Uh -huh. Good girl. You got it? Do you need help? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that a heavy one. Mm -hmm. 
I'll help. Okay, come here. Okay, help me put it in. Oh, good girl. That's a heavy one. Okay, I am done harvesting what is ready, so let me show you what I got. So I only planted two buttercup squash plants and I got six ripe ones off of it. And now there's a ton more coming that are just super little like this. Um, but that won't make it before the end of the season. But for my family, who's not a huge squash eaters, this will be perfect. I'm just gonna store these in our garage, but definitely you wanna keep your winter squash, pumpkins, anything like that in a cool, dark spot that doesn't get a whole lot of sunlight and that doesn't get too warm. And that will just help um, your storage life get a little bit longer and extend your storage life. So that's it for this video. Thanks for taking along. I hope you found this video helpful if you weren't sure on when or how to harvest your squash. As you can see, it's pretty easy and it's just something that I think is super fun. So thanks for taking it along and I'll see you next time. Bye. We'll get to the garage eventually. <laughs> you helping mama? <laughs>